Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Beards Brew Review, sponsored by Brewer's Toolbox. Uh, this is kind of a unique episode today. We've done a review on this beer once before. Um, it is the Eye of the Storm Hibiscus Wit by Pacific Plate Brewing. We had an issue with the last beer, so they were kind enough to reach out to us and send us another copy to review. So we're going to get a good solid review of this one with hopefully not having an infected beer. <laughs> Hey, thanks for sticking around for this episode of Beards Brew Review. We're checking out Eye of the Storm Hibiscus Wit by Pacific Plate Brewing. We did this once before. It's a 4.6% Belgian wit brewed with hibiscus, which sounds amazing. The last time we had a little mishap, uh, we got an infected batch, and there was absolutely zero flavor going on and a lot of carbonation. It was uh, a little light, I guess you could say. Um, but we're... Popping this one open, they've sent us another one. Uh, while I'm doing the pour here, uh, I'm going to preface this by making sure that it's known that Pacific Plate Brewing did provide this review can for us. But as always, our reviews are straightforward, unbiased. You'll get my full opinions regardless of the fact of whether I bought this or this was provided because that is the only way we do it here. You cannot pay for reviews. Not that they were trying. Uh, they were just simply trying to provide great customer service and reaching out to us when we had a problem with the product. And I very much appreciate that. So here's the, another review. We've got that pour, beautiful color. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is much darker than the last batch that we had received, uh, which would be expected. Um, definitely some wonderful scents coming off the top there. Got slight sour notes, uh, all the typical Belgian scents that you would expect to find, uh, it's got that strong, slightly yeasty smell to it, and um, some slight stone fruit scents going on, um, all indicative of Belgians. Uh, not a lot of carbonation, definitely not over carbonated this time, uh, but it looks like there's uh, some wonderfulness going on. It's pretty clear. Uh, overall, there's just like kind of a slight bit of haze as it kind of goes through the glass, but definitely on par with what it should be. There's just a little bit of activity going on in there and just these tiny, tiny little bubbles hanging out at the top of the glass there. So we're gonna get into it. Oh, wow. This one tastes like something, okay? Um, there's definitely a, a very strong um, yeasty Belgian flavor um, right off the top with a slight bit of sour note, um, a, a little underpinning of, of the stone fruit and, and sweetness. It's got sort of a thin mouthfeel for what I would typically expect out of a Belgian, uh, but that's not necessarily unheard of. Um, there's the lighter side of Belgians every bit as uh, there is the, the slightly heavier side with, with, uh, with doubles and triples. Um, this, this is on the lighter side of, of a Belgian which doesn't make it good nor bad, it's just simply what it is. And then it has these really nice um, sweet underpinnings that are sort of uh, stained with the, uh, a little bit of the, uh, the sourness from the hibiscus, really lights up the sides, the very edges of your tongue. Um, it's very refreshing overall. Um, definitely something that I could see myself reaching for on a really nice crisp fall day or a really really hot summer day uh, this would be an amazing lawnmower beer um, but it's it's got that um, a little bit more of a sweetness it's almost um, I don't want to say cider like but the uh, the mouthfeel is kind of cider like uh, with that that nice yeasty Belgian beer flavor with the sweetness and, and the slight bit of sour um, I would I would reach for this again this is very very good um, glad to, to be able to drink this. Now, now again, uh, Pacific Plate is, is a very small brewery um, in California. I'm trying to figure out exactly where uh, Monrovia, uh, California. So if, if you're in the area, stop by. 
uh, if this is something that they maybe have on tap, it, it's going to be amazing out of the tap. Um, but if not, you can find distribution where you are. Definitely check this one out, uh, especially if you uh, if you like hibiscus. It, it's a very interesting brewing ingredient. Um, I was excited about that. This really what attracted me to it. And then, I mean, this awesome can art. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. It, it just it glows. It just pops right off the can. Again, Pacific Plate Brewing, Eye of the Storm, Hibiscus Wit, 4.6%. Check that out. As always, if there's anything else you would like to see us review, go ahead and leave some stuff down in the comments. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, let everybody know. Beards Brew Review is the place to go for straightforward, no BS reviews for their beer. And if you have time, check out BrewersToolbox.com. There's stuff for craft beer lovers and home brewers alike. Until next time, cheers.